Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Homer dashboard on your home server using Docker and Portainer. This is a great way to create a customized dashboard for all your home server services. Let's dive in. First, we'll start by updating our virtual machine. I've made it super easy for you by providing a script on my GitHub repo that not only updates the machine but also installs Docker. The link to this script is in the description below. Once the update is done, let's make sure Docker is installed correctly. Open up your terminal and type docker dash dash version. If you see the Docker version, you're good to go. Now we need to allow root login via SSH. We'll edit the SSH deconfig file. This consists of going in and changing the permit root login to be yes instead of being prohibit password. After that is done we will change the root user password. After making those changes, reboot the server. Also in case if you are unsure of the commands they will be in my GitHub under SSH. Next, let's install Portainer using Docker. It's an excellent tool for managing your Docker containers. We will be using the Portainer code in my GitHub and start by creating the Docker volume then running the command to install Portainer. Once Portainer is installed, we need to verify the IP address and port to access it. You can find this information in the Portainer container details. Now let's log into Portainer for the first time. We will go to the app templates, and as you can see Homer is not available. We need to go in, and change the app template URL to enable additional features. This URL that I am entering will be available on my GitHub as well. It is under the Portainer section. Time to install Homer dashboard within Portainer. At the bottom section of the installation you can see the config location. This is where all your main files for Homer will live. Let's also make it to where Homer can be opened in one click of a button. We'll update the environment details in Portainer to open the IP address when a service is selected. We can now see here that Homer has started and is showing healthy, but it is not providing us with a published ports link. We will go to the logs to see what is wrong. Homer needs read write access to its assets folder, that is the reason why it says healthy. But yet it is unreachable. We'll adjust the permissions to make sure everything runs smoothly. After restarting Homer, We'll open it for the first time, and explore its potential. Now let's open the config.yaml file to personalize Homer. Optional messages at the top can be configured to say anything you want them to. Also they can be removed altogether, if that is your preference. This strategy can also be applied to the link section. You can either edit them to say anything you like, or just remove them altogether. Feel free to also go in 
and change the title and subtitle of the web page. The great thing about Homer Dashboard is that it is completely customizable. We'll also change the footer to make it truly yours. This can be anything you want similar to a custom web page. It can contain the copyright information of this page. Bringing in the code from my GitHub, we can start adding links to services like Proxmox, Portainer, and Casa OS, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Feel free to use my code and adapt it to your needs. One major part of the links is the images. You can see the name and location here on the code. We'll add some eye-catching PNG images for YouTube and LinkedIn. Then using FileZilla's SFTP protocol we will sign into the server using root and SSH. This is the reason we changed the SSHD configure earlier. We can't travel to the location needed to house images which is assets then the icons directory. Then go to our downloads folder on the local machine and transfer the images. You are also able to change the icons above each section. For example, we will change the website section to a hashtag. So we will travel to the URL at the top of the code and search hashtag to look for one to place. We will now add images for the Proxmox, Portainer, and Casa OS links. After that is done we will verify that the links work by clicking on the YouTube link. And there you have it. A customized Homer dashboard for your home server. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more tech tutorials. If you have any questions or run into issues, feel free to ask in the comments below. If you want to learn more about me visit my website in the description below. Until next time, happy server managing!